Welcome back, everyone. This is Superstar Brother playing Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. We have just climbed into Beetle's air shop. We're gonna see if we can afford his net. His bug net. That's a bug net! You know, for catching bugs. Insects, too! Okay, so there aren't so many bugs here, but you'll be able to catch tons with this when there are some. And at only 50 rupees, what do you know? I can afford it. I'm sure you'll make a net profit! Good fun. Want to buy it? Okay, we'll buy it. Alright! We got the bug net! That's unusually generous. That is unusually generous. Beetle here is not... is just as annoying as he was in Wind Waker. But anyways, we got the bug net. You can use it to catch bugs and other small things, like... Tumbleweed. Yes, you do catch tumbleweed. When you're hunting bugs, you're gonna... Find out. Yeah. <laughs> Remember to approach quietly and strike quickly. There it is. Thank you! Oh, it really suits you! I'll bet you say that to everybody. You There's an adventure that pouch. Everybody. Nobody shows up. There's an adventure pouch here, but oh. I don't think we can afford it. That'll increase the number of items you can carry in your adventure pouch by one! It has to be the most useful thing imaginable for an adventure. And yet it costs a mere 300 rupees. A mere 300 rupees. Ha! I don't have enough oh. rupees. Oh, please take a look at the other things I have for sale. I oh, will when I have more rupees. wonder where he got all those things. <laughs> Scrounger. Alright. Whoops. Alright, here's one thing you can use the butter knife, the, the bug net for. Excuse me, the butterfly net, I was going to call it. Butterflies. Oh, oh, come on. And you have to swing it like a real net. There, usually I'm better. refuse to be captured. <laughs> we caught one blessed butterfly. These insects are commonly found in every province. In rare cases, you can find them flying in strange locations. And we'll find out more about that strange locations later. Alright. Hey, hey, guess what I got? Hi, Link! What? You went to Beetle's air shop? Without me? That's so unfair! Eh uh -huh. You can afford rocks like hit me. <laughs> Alright, now what else do we need to do? I think there's a few other things we can do here before we take off and explore it. That is, before we do anything else. Uh, yes, I think we do. Okay. Now I remember. If I can just remember where exactly I needed to, how to get there. Link. Okay, we need to push this. Ooh, I thought I already put push this. Okay, run up. I said run! There. Okay, there we go. We're just gonna go up to the statue of the goddess. And plant that ruby tablet. Master, I have confirmed the location of the second opening in the cloud barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access a new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete necessary preparations. Alright then. Onward ho! Child of Gun! 
What's the matter? Oh, Kukiu, where did you go? What will I do if she's been kidnapped? Ah. Oh, Link! What's the matter? I've been pushed off the edge. <laughs> what perfect timing! You haven't seen my Kukiu, have you? Nope. That little girl that we talked to who wanted to play with someone. I, I see it. Please, Link, won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. I've asked everyone I could find for help, and a few people have said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone else even said they thought they'd seen her carried out by a monster. A monster! Oh, that sounds bad. She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly. Someone must have just walked off with her. I have just, well, been, they... I have just been Goose. <laughs> yeah, it could be Goose. Well, they couldn't have gone far. I mean, Skyloft is a small place. Find Kukio, please. Please. It breaks my heart to think she's someone out there crying. Please, Link. All right, all right. So you're, since you're yeah. being so pathetically. Thank you. The Night Academy should be proud to have a student like you. So they should. Tell, yeah, tell that to Bruce. Please, find my daughter quickly. All right. Hey! All right. Let's see if we can find somebody who knows where Kukiel might have gone to. Hey there, Fledge. Hey. Oh, Link. How's it going? Any luck tracking down Zelda? I see. Well, we're all pulling for you. By the way, I saw Kukiel's mother heading up toward the temple a little while ago. She looked pretty upset. You don't suppose something happened, do you? Oh yeah, something's happened, all right. Mm -hmm. Huh? Kukiel's gone missing? We've got to do something. I'll start looking too. Ask around and see if you can find somebody who's seen her link. All right. Well, that's what I was. It's all yeah. good to have people. All right. So I guess Fledge hasn't seen her. I wonder if anybody in the academy, like Pippet, has seen her. He's a prime soldier. Yeah, he's a he's a trooper. That's what he is. Good night. Hey, Link. How are you? Feeling a bit better, I hope. I'm afraid I've got some problems too. But you know, I try to put on a brave face in front of other people. If you do that, the unhappiness rolls off like water on a loftwing's back. I always try to keep that in mind. <laughs> Good philosophy. Uh, but apparently he hasn't seen Kukil or know anything about Kukil. He just didn't ask about her. There's no way to ask about her. I'm just going to assume... Hey, this is Colin. Colin, can you help? Hey! Man, when Gross gets sad, he's downright miserable. He's always in his room sulking. And when he does come out, he gets angry at everyone for no reason. Even me! Tragedy. The way I hear it, you're the one responsible for Zelda going missing. This is your mess, so you'd better fix it. I'm doing that, I'm doing that. Just don't get in my way. It is not in your way. Hey there, Grandma. Ah. How are things? Now that you're here, you should find yourself a bed to lie down in and take a rest. Oh, I don't need to. My hots are awful. Oh, yeah, that's right. sitting down. I can change for an iron chill. Huzzah! We could probably actually store our wooden shield so we can carry things. I said actually, probably. Double negative there. It's it's a possibility <laughs> or redundancy. You actually can do it, but it's a possibility oh. that you There we go. You can actually twist your remote to change the direction your net faces. Which makes it that much easier to catch bugs. Someone. But anyways, let's find somebody. I don't think anybody in the bazaar. Maybe this guy knows where she... Link? Whoa, what's the matter, Link? You look pale. It's Kukil. What? Kukil is missing? She was abducted by a monster? You don't think this has anything to do with all those silly stories about a horrifying monster that's been living here in Skyloft for ages, do you? Mouthful. And no, I've never heard of any monsters. No, People say the creature. Scary. People say the creature appears in the dead of night, scaring folks and even taking away children. Probably nothing more than a scary story some older brother made up to terrorize his younger siblings. But still, it makes me wonder. 
That's a funny story. Makes me wonder too. Where would I find this monster? What monster are you talking about? Maybe somebody over in this part knows where it is. Who knows where Kukiel might be? She looks like she has something to say. Did you hear? The child who had been playing in the graveyard went missing. Can you believe it? You really think there are monsters abducting children in our little town? I don't know. Mmm, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing freezes you, does it? The child just vanished from our little village. <laughs> I almost vanished. Wait, maybe maybe we can learn more. Did you hear a child who playing in the graveyard went missing? Can you believe it? Do you really think there are monsters abducting children in our little town? Alright, I do, I do. Huh? I believe, I believe. What? So there's a chance she was dragged off by a monster? Let's not be ridiculous here. This monster business is going a bit far. Oh? Now that you mention it, there's an old man who lives near here who's always ranting about hidden monsters here in Skyloft. Everyone knows he's a little loony, so, so no one takes him seriously. You want to know where the old man is? I'd imagine he's at the Lumpy Pumpkin to the east of here. Oh, nuts. As usual. You'll need to fly your bird there, of course. Of course. Yes. Okay, to the lumpy to the volcano. Okay. <laughs> to the lumpy pumpkin! Away! Yep. <laughs> it's oh, I should just meet him there. <sighs> At the lumpy pumpkin? Yes. I guess we can talk to the proprietor there too. Tell him we delivered him. Okay then. Here we go! There are some birds around here that might be killing the root bees. I've never actually gotten close enough to check. See that lumpy pumpkin! Away! Back to the invisible pumpkin! Let's go find that old man. Geezer. You old coot. Alright, let's That'll do be it. a funny question. There's the old geezer. Uh, you have that gullible look that says you might take an old man's rambling seriously. So tell me, do you believe in the Skyloft monster? Eh, uh, let's just pretend I do. I shouldn't even call it a monster. It's a demon, I tell you. But no one can say for sure because no one's seen it and like to tell the tale. Really? Uh huh. You want to know how come I'm telling the tale if nobody who's seen it is left alive? Is that it? Yep. Yeah, well, I saw it, but I was able to escape by the seat of my pants. I was saved by my cat like reflexes, I tell you. And this was how long ago? And Last year. Any regular person wouldn't have lived long enough to scream. Oh, yeah, you're a real. You're a real tiger there. Anyway, I saw the thing, I tell you. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night and... I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree and the gravestone lit up. It pushed the gravestone and the door to the storage shed opened up all by itself. The monster then went into the shed and then he closed the door behind itself, which was unexpectedly polite for a demon. Either that or he's just determined to keep his privacy. It was the most terrifying thing these old eyes have ever seen. If you're smart, you'll stay clear of the cemetery in the middle of the night. Yeah, well, there's a little girl who's gone missing, and it's rumored that a monster took her. That might be the one. But since he's old, he didn't hear. <coughs> but anyways, with that, this is Superstar Brother. To be continued.